Major Slack Attack. Next, we're going on a little ingredients run. South of Windhelm. Let's go to uh, Windhelm Stables. Oh, it's a nice, lovely day here in Windhelm. Uh, Catman. Yes, what is it, Master Slack? Um, just just a little heads up. When you mount the horse, don't dig your claws in. I think it's like I think it's ticking them off a little bit. Oops, I am sorry. Okay, yeah, just gotta watch that. Okay, we are riding south from Windhelm Stables. We can take a little shortcut up here. And you may be wondering, why did we collect all those bees in the beginning? About to find out why. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. What? Somebody stole my sweet roll? Who stole my sweet roll? <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, in Kynes Grove, which is where we are now, there is lots of dragon's tongue. Especially here in the camp. And around the inn. We're looking to have 25. We now have... 17. We can get some more on the road going out of town. We should also collect these uh, chicken's eggs here. Alright, down to the road. Basically, you're going to collect every ingredient you see just for a short while especially jazz bay grapes and creep cluster and of course dragon's tongue jazz bay grapes you can collect just enough to match the, the number of death bell that you have we have six so one more and dragon's tongue we're looking for 25 a little bit of creek cluster That should do it. Let's just grab a few, a few extra dragons down here. Okay, and back to Kynes Grove. So we now have at least 25 dragons tongue. We got 29. And we got 25 bees. The third part of this recipe is fly amanita. And conveniently enough, there is 21 fly amanita in the mine here. Where's the mine? I can't believe I lost my way. I've like been here like a bazillion times before and I'm like what? Okay, and let's bring up the torch. We're looking for a 21 fly amnita in here. That's one. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, and 21. Got them all. We are ready to crank out a whole bunch of valuable potions. Let's go to Wayren. Everybody should have the Thief Stone activated, that's correct. anything. <laughs> I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Wait till morning. All right, now everybody has the thief stone and the well rested bonus. You look like someone who can hold their liquor. Oh, the drinking contest. Okay. I spend a Sorry, lot of you can't do that. So I can learn and into Arcadia's Cauldron. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. We are it's here specifically because you know, Arcadia is an alchemy skill trainer. And you probably want to do a hard save now. This is a very important step, so you don't want to screw this up. You want to go back and and do something over. What do you need, my friend? First thing you want to do is buy some skill training. I think I can teach you a thing or two. And we got a ton of money. So let's buy five times. Now the best thing about this is there's an alchemy lab right here. And she's not going anywhere. We could just crank out some potions and sell them back to her. So let's do that. Find tonics, salves, poultices, and potions. My shelves. Browse to your heart's content. Starting with this bad boy right here, Dragon's Tongue. Fly Amanita. And B. Twenty-five. There you go. And we leveled up. I doubt the next perk is going to make a difference, but points into health. Actually, it might. My bad. Yes, it will. Okay, yeah, so as soon as you level up, get the Poisoner perk. Let's go to um, Arcadia. Sale. Sell her back in my all the potions that we just made. Here we go, it all got our money back. Come and back if you need a let's make some more potions. I sell cures for all ills. And I'll be Actually, what we want to do first is buy some more skill training because it'll be cheaper. Maybe a hardy Nord like you doesn't need it. I think I can teach you a thing or two. Okay, one, two. Now all of a sudden, as soon as it goes past level 51, it becomes exorbitantly expensive. That's okay, we can still afford it. Four. And we can make some potions to sell back to her.
finish off our batch of uh, Dragon's Lions, Tongue, tonics, Bee, and Fly Amanita. Oh, this didn't benefit from the Poisoner Prick at all. That's okay, we still need to get that Poisoner Prick. Because we're pushing for the Green Thumb Perk. Just to demonstrate so that the nitpickers don't... Uh, yeah. The Benefactor Perk would have made more valuable potions, but we don't want to waste a Perk in that tree, or that branch of the tree. We want to push hard towards the green thumb perk. Okay, so we only have two more to go. Green, concentrated poison and green thumb. Okay, so that's the point of that. Let's sell some potions to get our money back. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? And we can Farewell. make some more. I offer remedies for ailments both common How about and some Do let me know if I can be of service. Death bell. Jazzbag grapes and salt pile. 684. Yeah, something about. And how about some more frost miriam, purple mountain flower and I think I forgot to collect some um lavender and wheat. We should have lots of wheat. up again before we level up let's buy some more skill training if there's anything I can help you with you have but to pardon me but do I I think I can teach you a thing or two okay that's all the lovely we can do here level up and finally save this perk point okay don't spend it in alchemy we finally want to put this perk point into Armsman rank three. Okay, and the target for level sale. for now is level sixty for alchemy. That's what we're going for. Eventually we're gonna push for level seventy. Level sixty will do fine though. This will allow us to get the concentrated poison perk. Maybe a hardy Nord like you doesn't... I think I can teach you a thing or two. And... I don't have any money. Who's got yes. the money? So you're interested in my You got the money. Okay. Give us the money. Come back. What do you need? Okay, now that you have Farewell. no money left... Yes? Take a look. Actually, you still have a little bit of money. Okay, let me just quickly crank out uh, what can we make. Because <clears throat> I forgot to get lavender. Oh, we can make uh, blue butterfly wing, blue mountain flower, and wheat. Do we have any wheat? This should make a pretty valuable potion. If there's anything I can help you with. A couple of those. And how about did I accidentally collect any trauma root? No, I did not. Oh, I got I got one. Trauma root. I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve Creep you. cluster and do I have any butterfly? There you go. Make some junk potions here. Did I see some more Tabanel in there? You can also mix Dragon's Tongue, Fly Amanita, and more Tabanel, which is what is I usually do, I as explained way back in the beginning, and I'll make it fairly valuable potion. You look so you're interested in my potions and ingredients?
Here, now you only have 200 bucks. Let's quickly go out. Because we can make uh, blue mountain flower, chicken's egg, which we have a lot of, we have nine, and the lavender, that's another power potion. There's lots of lavender in the town center here. Oh, we have six. Okay. Just need three more. Just collect what you need, because we're eventually going to get the green thumb perk, which will give you two for one. So you don't want to waste uh, potential ingredient picking before we get the green thumb perk. Just take what you need. Let's go back. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Blue mountain flower. Chicken's egg. And... Lavender. There we go. A lot of people have been asking about power potions. There is a lot of the power potions I normally make. There's a nice little list Pardon for you. Not a complete list, but, do I but a case some of them. Of the and, um... For sale. I think I can teach you a thing or two. Oh, we're already at level 60. Okay, good enough. Let's just get our money back. Take a look. We already have our money back. We're 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 styling. Come back nice doing business with you. Next. We don't really need to be carrying around. Oh wait a minute, hold up here. We gotta make some combat potions. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it Almost stored. forgot. The whole reason why we collected the, that ash creep cluster is we can mix it with the chorus eggs that we got from the hag's cure and make an invisibility potion. 29 seconds to make five of those. And next, we can make some bow damage potions by mixing together juniper berries and those spider eggs that we clicked away back in the beginning. You can also mix it with elves here. Here, well, let's make a few of those. And some poisons of paralysis, which will be no more powerful now. We have lots of canis we're running short on Imstool. You could also mix canis fruit with human flesh, if I recall correctly. There we go. Okay, so we got four paralysis poisons. Next, poisons of frenzy. You can make poisons of frenzy by mixing together blister wort and troll fat. I offer remedy. There we go, creatures and people up to level seven will attack anything nearby for 10 seconds. Or blister word and... Hag raven feathers. Or blister word and... Human heart. And on my to your there we go. Lots of poisons of frenzy. And I think that's about it. So we got some combat poisons. Let's hockey those suckers. Awesome. And you don't have any more money. Actually, you have a little bit more money. Pardon me, but take a look. There we go. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. Bellathor has got money. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a hop. Everything's for trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing.
do come. Five thousand gold. Excellent. Back. Okay. Now, before we go any further, let's establish a headquarters at the Banner Bear. Dump up all these ingredients because we won't really be needing them for the next little bit. So the let's lighten the load. We got lots of ingredients on board. You can do this. All these containers are safe. Fairly safe. Let's use this as our ingredients container. We dump all our ingredients in here. <laughs> I think Catman accidentally ate some bone meal there. And we don't really need the novice hood for now, so let's stash that in here. And what else do we have? Oh, we got a steel dagger. Okay, we got a little bit of, we've got some hitchhikers here. And some junk food. And some junk. And finally, the final leg of this prepping for combat tour. It's going to take us all the way out to Rift Inn. Alright, everybody set your moral compasses to airplane mode. We are about to earn the Congressional Medal of Ugly for the next dastardly deed. In Riften, you want to head around the east side and around to the bottom of Riften. This is the fastest way to get to where we want to go. And I'm sure some of you hardcore slackers know exactly what I'm going to do. I haven't done this in a while, okay? So, to my credit, Froki has survived, I think, a couple or three rock throughs, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he has survived. So, um, he's due for a murder. <laughs> okay, so once you get um, down to the bottom of Riften here, you're just going to follow this road all the way along here, okay? All the way along here same stone road all the way up here when we get here we're gonna cross the river and discover if Trevor's watch come back across the river keep following the same road and we're gonna go eventually up here and up to this spot right here what's that it's like that is Froki's shack let's just quickly discover this farm here our boy Froki has a very valuable ring of minor archery on his person and a necklace called Kind's Token which will give you plus 5% um, better bow damage and the ring of minor archery will give you plus 15% better bow damage so that's a total of 20% bonus to your bow damage but but uh, the, the only problem is um, He's not going to willingly give up this stuff. You can actually do a quest for him to earn Kind's token. He'll give that to you for free. That's only 5% bow damage. We want the Ring of Minor Archery. That he does not give for free. And the way we are going to acquire it is... Um, I think we're going to kill him. What was that slack? Oh, we're, we're going to kill him. Speak up, slack. Okay, we're going to kill the son of a bitch. Yes. Our life of crime is about to begin. This is why I've been avoiding it henceforth, or like thus far. Is saving it for this. And of course, hired thugs are going to be sent after us. Toot sweet. And we'll have to deal with them. But we are powerful enough to deal with hired thugs. Hence, the poisons of frenzy and the poisons of paralysis. And the poison, the potions of fortify marks. We're ready. We're ready to do this. 
with no armor, of course. Okay, so we're pushing north. You want to take the long way around. You could cut through there, but we want to discover Travis's watch, like I said. Okay, once you get near the river, you're going to spot a bridge. Take the bridge across. This band of fort is known as Travis Watch. We often come here to get... Um, the Detect Life Spell, which will re be re awarded to you for doing a special mission here. But we can't put that to good use with this build, so we're just going to discover Travis Watch for a co very convenient... Um, thing we're going to be doing later on. Okay, so Travis Watch is discovered, and now we're just going to push up the mountain. Okay, just stick to the side of the mountain. Looks like there's a... oh, we got a troll here. There's always some kind of predator here. Go after the rabbit troll. Nice tasty rabbit. Yeah, yeah, cats aren't good eating. Okay, and we could take the uh, the marker off, and you'll see a little house icon right above uh, Catman's head there. That is Froakie's shack. There it is. All right, first thing you want to do when you get here is go down to the chopping block and pick up this valuable item right here, the diadem of the savant. It's for 1200 gold. And often there's a diamond over here, although not always. Looks like it didn't spawn this time. Anyways, if you're lucky enough, there should be a diamond right around here, right below this Auric Alcamore vein. I don't see it. And I don't have the patience to look every, over every square inch of this. So forget it. Elvin Bow, you're up to bat. You're gonna get your hands dirty. Of course you want a quick save before this uh, excavation. Go into sneak mode. Put a poison of paralysis on your bow. Take a potion of Fortify Marksman. And that is Froki. Shoot him as fast as you can before he comes to. Get out of the way, kid. Get out of the way, kid. Alright, kid, you didn't see nothing, alright? No, nothing happened. And bingo, the Ring of Minor Archery. And we'll take Klein's token. We'll just take everything off him. Alright, you didn't see nothing again, okay? Just like Schultz and Hogan's Heroes, I see nothing! And since we're already like major criminals, we might as well take everything he's got. It's not gonna make any difference. It's not gonna change the rap one way or another. <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, we might as well take uh, the Luna Moth Wing and the Butterfly Wing. And we're good. Okay, so now we have 20% better bow damage.
Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.